You probably saw the quote going around this week. It's from Peter Thiel, one of the co-founders of PayPal, and it is, the age of Apple is over. Uh, it got circulated by the New York Times. In fact, it's moved the market, specifically Apple, in the downward trend. And I've been pretty negative towards Apple, and I think rightfully so, especially the past year. Uh, but I do think the age of Apple is far from over. I think people don't have the full picture of Apple. And so look at the company as a Mac-only business that also makes phones. And that's not the case. Their business model has evolved incredibly since then. A huge revenue driver for Apple. In fact, I believe about 10 to 12% of total revenue for calendar year 2016 didn't come from any physical product. It came from the App Store. It generated $8.8 .8 billion in revenue, which in fact is almost a 50% increase from 2015 where it generated $6 billion in revenue. It's easy to look at Apple and say, well, they're not shipping a lot of Macs and Mac sales are down and Apple is going to be doomed. That's the stance that a lot of journalists tend to take. And PC sales as a whole are down, but in fact, Apple sales are actually up from the previous year and have been bucking the trend of downward sales for overall computers. During the fourth quarter of 2016, Apple actually shipped 5.4 million Macs worldwide, which is up from 5.3 million in the year ago quarter for a growth of about 2.4%. But Apple's not making money from Macs. It's easy to find the down ticks and say, this is where the problem is. Apple's really making money from two places software, and their iPhone business. The iPhone used to stand head and shoulders above the competition, but that is no longer the case. Whether you love Apple or hate them, Android has caught up to, depending on what stance you take, at least feature parity, and in a lot of cases, far above what Apple is doing. But their model is evolving. App Store purchases, again, huge for Apple. We're gonna have new categories Apple's supposedly going to be entering as we head into 2017 and 2018. Apple's made a history of evolving their business. Whether or not they evolve into autonomous cars, whether or not they leave businesses behind, you can't look at PC sales, even iPad sales now, both of which are down as a sign of the doom and gloom at Apple. I think where you can say the age of Apple is over is gonna be in about two to three years. And if you see if things like smartwatches have evolved, as Apple moved into new categories. If we don't see new categories from Apple in the next 48 months, I could say the argument that Peter Thiel made perhaps had a lot of foresight behind it. But right now, I still have faith that Apple is going into new categories. And it's very clear it's not the same Apple it was when Steve Jobs was there. I know that's a cliche thing to say, but it seems to be very apparent. I think we're gonna see changes in the iPhone, and if we don't see changes in the iPhone, then there's another way that the age of Apple perhaps is over. But as it exists right now, Apple's model has changed. And not taking that into account, I don't think is fair. So I think it boils down to this. The age of Apple isn't over, but they've got a few years to prove that it's not. Do you guys agree with anything that I'm saying here? Certainly Apple as it existed, and if you judge it based on innovation, they've stagnated. They're not where they're at. I think it's easy to look at things now and say, that's it. Sick of forking them. Apple is going to be an iPhone company and a software company, and they're going to have a huge valuation. The company is going to be fine, but they're not going to be what they once were. Or you can take perhaps a more optimistic approach and say, I believe Apple still has a lot of innovation left in them. They're going to evolve the platform. They're going to evolve what Apple can do and what Apple is known for. It's new categories are not in right now. And that's the camp that I'm in, despite being very critical, and I think rightfully so, uh, of Apple the past few years. But this is obviously a topic a lot of people have a lot of passion about. So take out your feelings on your phone, whatever that might be, and look at Apple just as a business. Do you feel that the market moving quote from Peter Thiel was correct? I really want to have a conversation about it. If we can keep it civil, that's always ideal. Leave in the comments down below and let's talk about it. I'll be replying to these for, for as long as I can. Let me know what you guys think. I'm John Rentner from Techno Buffalo. I'll talk to you guys in the next.